Welcome to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Welcome one, welcome all. We have some very hot tea for you guys. Yes, we do. We do. Okay, and let's get started. Because this, this tea mm, 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 is tenthal 18. All right, and this is based on Rachel. Okay, one of our new cast members of Love After Lockup. Now, she is paired off with Doug. This is one of her second or third felons that she landed and married, okay? So, some of you guys may not know this. Some of you guys have known this, but I'm going to tell you, but this is not the tea, okay? It may be tea for some of you guys, but some of you guys not, okay? But what I'm going to tell you, Rachel and Doug aren't together. No, 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 no. Even though Rachel's on Sherelle's world trying to pretend they're together, they're not together, okay? All right, now let's get on to, with this tea, okay? Because this is a lot of tea. And let's get it rolling. Okay, so they're not together, okay? Doug ran off. Somehow, we don't know the situation and why they're not together, but they're not. And Doug went on the loose because he was tampering with his ankle bracelet or whatever monitor. And she filed for divorce in November. They must have got back together because in June, you know, she had to file again. And it got so ridiculous. I guess Doug doesn't care about an NDA. He does not care about an NDA because he's all frolicking with his girlfriend, I think her name is Brittany. They even um, recreated the pose that Rachel and Doug did on Love After Lockup. He's a straight up thug. He doesn't care about any NDA. He doesn't follow rules. You can pay him, but he's not gonna follow rules. Cause this is not his first rodeo around into, you know, prison and they're not known to follow rules. Prisoners, felons, they're not known. So anyway, He's frolicking with his girlfriend, Brittany, and Rachel's on Cheryl World trying to say they're together. Then Rachel's like, Ugh, you know, she's got a good sense of humor because she's reposting on her storyline of the photo of Doug and his new boo, Brittany. And should I say new boo? I don't know if she's necessarily a new boo. No, 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 no. She is not new. She would date it Doug before Rachel did. Actually, Brittany is an old boo. And this is her, his ride or die, or guess it's the one who had his heart. Because he's been with Brittany for 12 years, according to, if, to Doug. And Brittany confirms it. It's come to the point now that uh, Rachel, you know, she took off her little... Um, tattoo her Doug tattoo and she took that off <laughs> and, and put a birdie there okay where Doug's name was and my lovelies Rachel has a new look a new look and she fessed up she did some tweaking she fessed up she did tweaking and she looks good okay look at the before and after pictures there all right and Rachel, my lovelies, Rachel has a new cast member. Well, a cast member kind of got the feels for her. Yes, she's got a new admirer. It's not so secret. And guess who that is? <laughs> guess who that is? Deonte. Deonte. Okay, he's like in every picture she puts. The post-surgery and the pre-surgery picture. He loves them all. Okay, I think Deontay and Rich will make a good pair. They have dated multiple felons, and they seem to be suckers, and they tend to have a good attitude about all of this. Okay, they just laugh it off and let it roll off the shoulder, so why not get together? So anyway, um, there's more tea, people. Stick with this. This is more tea. Now, oh my goodness. You do know that Deontay's not with Rachel. You know they're not. She's talking to somebody else. Some of you guys, guys may not know this, but the somebody she's talking to is a woman. Right. A woman. And here's Nicole 
just like Doug. They don't follow rules. They don't care about an NDA. They don't care about we, TV, and their contracts. She already up here posting wedding pictures of her new boo. But then we saw a little clip of that anyway. So maybe they're going to focus. They're going to put that on the show. Maybe they'll put that on the show. If you guys want to know or see her new boo, all right, you got one, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. I'm posting this new boo. Here it is right now. It's a woman. It's a woman. So Deontay's free to go with Rachel. So anyway, there's more tea, people. There's more tea. It, I am just pouring out, okay? It is pouring out, okay? So let's get back to Doug and Brittany. Doug says, oh, no, this is Brittany. Our journey over the last 12 years have been rough to say the least, but I've never doubted our, our path would come together. Let me put these glasses on, okay? We went through a lot to get to one another, but I'm excited to see all the places we will go now that the sun has risen for us. XOXO. Now this Brittany has a couple of kids too. Yes, she does. She has three. And, and he has one, of course. So it's interesting that she didn't raise little Dougie, but he gave little Dougie to Rachel the race. Interesting. Interesting. So you have a mom of three. Why didn't you give Brittany your son to raise? Okay. He didn't give the boy to his mama because they're kind of, according to Brittany, they are not on good terms, Doug and his mom. So he gave it to little Dougie. To Rachel, okay. But guess what, people? I got more dirt. I got more, more, more dirt. And this is a doozy, okay. So I'm just gonna hold on and hold on. You guys hold your saddles because this is this is one for the ages, okay. Um. So proof that, that there's proof because Doug has posted on his Facebook that. Brittany's been with him for a long time. And he even acknowledged Brittany on his Facebook. And this was years ago. His family does not like Brittany. But he doesn't care because he loves Brittany. Um, he's wished her a happy birthday. Uh, multiple times. And she has updated her relationship status to in a relationship with Doug on May 22nd. And this is according to Starcasm. And um, he calls her a supportive partner. And you keep it all together for your two girls and the boy. You're strong, independent. You're gonna raise those kids strong and independent like yourself. Okay, so... Um, Let me take a breath, okay? Because I want to make sure I get all of this tea. So he's just giving her all the props, all the props. But guess what? I don't know if this is correct. Now, ain't nobody had this on here. I don't know what Doug's situation is. Well, he's kind of, according to um, just a random search, just a random search, Brittany... Now, I don't know if this is accurate, but she graduated from the Sheriff's Correctional Officer Academy in 2021. Now, I don't know if she's employed as a correctional officer, but she did their little training. Hope she don't lose her job like that other chick did. I hope she didn't lose her job. Um, and this little Brittany is married just like Josh is still married. I mean, little, uh, just like Doug is still married to Rachel. Brittany's married too. She's married to somebody named Jonathan Williams Schuler, who's 33 years old. Okay. So these two fornicators, <laughs> adulterers, whatever you want to call them, they're both married. And, um, let me see what else that it is. There's a lot more tea people. There's a lot. Hang on now. Hang on. 
uh, um, someone asked Brittany, um, Brittany's out here. Okay, folks, she's out here answering questions. And someone asked Brittany two good questions, two good questions. And she's ready to pour, you know, because she's not getting a cut from WeTV. And Doug's out there, you know, he doesn't give a care. So uh, she says, y'all want spoilers about it? Someone says, um, she's basically, she says, I don't know where to begin. I could write a whole book about it. What do you want to know? Someone says, how did you meet Douglas? And what was, what happened to his little Dougie's bio mom? And she says, I met him when he was 17 and I was 18 before he first went to prison. So she was the girl he met before he even stepped into the pen. His mother is around, just does not have contact with him. So someone wanted to know, I guess she was being aloof. You know, she wasn't really answering any questions about Dougie, little Dougie. That's what I would like to know. But anyway, my love. More tea, more tea. I'm just looking through my little trusty Samsung tablet. Okay, making sure I get all of the juice. All of the juice. Okay, my lovelies, here is the big tea. Here's the big tea. Wait, make sure I get queued up here. Okay. Rachel. Rachel. Is a mom. Is a mom, okay? Surprise, surprise. And I believe she's going through some kind of custody battle because I don't know if her child is living with her full time. Okay? And I necessarily, I mean, Rachel's cool and all, but, uh, you know, uh, she brings prisoners around, you know, just in her home and you can't have that around your children. So I'm going to have to give her the thumbs down on that. You know, she's cool and all, but her and Deontay deserve each other. They do. She's no smarter than Deontay. Because she doesn't make the brightest, best decision. But they both got a good attitude and, you know, everything, everything. The only thing, Deontay doesn't have any kids. But why don't he hook up with Rachel? And I've been sitting on this for a while. I knew she had a kid. And her father of her child, he's a very nice looking man. Okay? Very nice looking. Now, I'm not going to post the picture of the child. Even though I had, you know, like... But only because she said she didn't want it. If she had posted on her Facebook, I would post it here. I had no problem if it was on her social media. But it wasn't on her social media, okay? It hit somebody else's social media, but not hers. But anyway, she's like, you know, you got me, you got me. She goes, I'm a proud mama. Y'all work hard to get that dirt. And um, so she said, but you know, her son is in dirt. But damn, I didn't want him on the show. Can you blame me? No, we can't blame you, Rachel. We can't blame you on that. No, we can't. But I don't know if it was all your, your decision to um, not have him on the show because you don't have him full time. Okay? But uh, he's a cute little boy. He's younger than Dougie Jr. He's younger than Dougie Jr. So that is the T. She is a mom. She's going through a little something with the child's father. I believe she was married to the child's father, if that makes any sense. Yes. And, um, but I hope she has Dougie too. Because it doesn't seem like Brittany is the ride or die chick that she claims to be. Because why wouldn't she raise a little Dougie? So I know little Dougie is a handful, you know, but it seems like Rachel has found a way to be a little Dougie whisperer. Okay, he seems to be very successful in their years. Seems like they have a good rapport. But anyway, my lovelies, that is the tea on this little story. Rachel and Doug are not together. He's ran off with another woman. His married ass ran off with another married woman. His boo that he knew way before he entered prison. And I don't know where little Dougie Jr. is. And, um, but Rachel, I do think her son, she does have some kind of custody with her son, but I, I know there's some, some entanglements about that with the child's father. So I don't think it's solely about being on the show. 
Okay, just trust me on that. All right, my lovelies. If you enjoyed the tea you heard, all right, you know what you got to do. You got to hit the notification bell. You have to subscribe. You got to share. Even if I know some of you guys were sharing on Reddit, those little uh, 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 Reddit. But thank you, lovelies, for sharing my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drop me a comment below. Pour some tea so we can get the party started, my lovelies. All right, see you on the flip side.